Senator Murray, Senator Grassley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Congratulations on your appointment. Uh, the President has touted his budget as fiscally responsible. It is not responsible. He attempts to take credit for cutting this year's deficit by one and three trans trillion. That is mainly the product of pandemic era spending coming to an end. In fact, most of this so-called deficit reduction results from the president and majority in Congress going on a $2 trillion liberal wish list spending spree, stoking the flames of inflation. So in the end, then taking credit for deficit reduction resulting from discontinuation of irresponsible spending is comparable to an arsonist taking credit for containing a fire by refraining from dousing it with more gasoline. Even worse, the only reason the president and majority haven't thrown more gasoline on the flames of inflation is because people like Manchin and Cinema had had enough and refused to go along. If the president and most of his party had their way, this year's deficit and future year deficits would be hundreds of billions of dollars higher. Notably, the president's reckless tax and spending spree, which Democrats spent all of last year working to pass, is just a footnote in this budget. Yet, even assuming the reckless tax and spending spree isn't going anywhere, the president's budget still includes unprecedented levels of spending, of tax hikes, and deficit, and debt. Under the president's budget, spending would average 23.4% of our economy over the next 10 years. Historically, this is a level of spending previously uh, only seen for brief periods in response to a recession or a national emergency or war. Moreover, his budget includes $2.5 trillion of uh, tax increases that I think is going to be a job killer. Despite record levels of tax hikes, the budget fails to balance or even pay our debt or deficit on a sustainable path. Our annual deficit, the amount that we would spend each year beyond what we take in as revenue, would exceed $1 trillion in each of the next 10 years and reaches one and eight tenths trillion in 2032. Moreover, our public national Debt climbs to 106.7% of our economy, which would be the highest recorded level of debt in our nation's history. So while the President provides lip service to fiscal responsibility, uh, his budget is the same tire, old tired liberal tax and spend agenda with red ink as far as the eyes can see. Director Young, the President has touted his budget as reducing the deficit by $1 trillion. However, his budget does not account for any of the spending or tax hikes in his so-called Build Back Better plan. Instead, it establishes a reserve fund for its enactment on a deficit-neutral basis. From this, is it safe for me to assume the administration would oppose then any revised version of Build Back Better plan that CBO does not score as deficit neutral. Uh, Senator Grassley, thank you for that. We are uh, putting forth goals for legislation the president still calls on. It needs to reduce costs for the American people. It needs to expand the productive capacity of our economy. And it needs to reduce the deficit. We're holding enough revenue, we believe, to do uh, a version of the proposal um, as Congress uh, works on on the legislation, uh, but what you see here in the budget is an effort not to get into uh, in front of those negotiations. But we are, we believe, it's fiscally responsible to hold enough revenues to allow those conversations to happen. So yes, it would. Uh, if a, such a plan, revised plan, comes out, it's yes that it would have to be budget neutral. Uh, at least budget neutral, and the president's per, uh, personal goal is that it be deficit reducing. Okay, my last question will have to be this. I've got 18 seconds. Even without inclusion of any spending or tax increases from Build Back Better, government spending and revenue are projected to be at a near record high under the president's budget. 
is the president still going to push for a revised uh, uh, version of Build Back Better to be enacted? If so, how much more spending and tax can the American people expect? Is it a uh, trillion or more, two trillion more, et cetera? Senator Grassley, the president remains committed to a, a bill that reduces child care, health care, energy costs, um, but he does believe it should be paid for through tax reform. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Senator Stabenow. 